All right, so I'm heading down into Linville Gorge. Right now I'm following the, uh, the shuttle guy down to uh, Bible Tower, which is where I'll take out it. And then I'm gonna ride with him down to what's called Wolf Pit. Um, Wolf Pit Trail is the, the main trail that I'll uh, put in and then uh, just start hiking up the river. So uh, a little bit nervous. This is a, it's been a while since I've done something quite like this, um, especially a solo mission. But um, it'll be good to get back down into Lumber Gorge. I think this is going to be a, a really big adventure. So uh, I'll catch up with you a little bit later on. All right, so we're driving down into the gorge right now. We're heading down to Wolf Pit and make my way up towards Babel Tower. So uh, this should be a pretty good adventure. So I'll check with you later. All right, so I am starting in. Right here you can see the, the start of the trail. There's the parking area. So uh, it almost looks like we might have a little, a little storm blowing in. So I'm going to try to get down in there, assess the situation, and see if I need to go ahead and, uh, and set up uh, set up camp. But uh, oh well, here we go. to the sea trail oh, man that's all uphill I think I'm at the uh, the crest again up at the rim as you can see short off let's go take a look at this puppy had many good days climbing over there this is really my first good view of inside the gorge can hear the river down there. Not too shabby. Man, that hike whipped me. It's pretty hot down here, so it's probably close to 80 right here. But uh, we're only going north and uh, getting more elevation from here, so Ooh, let's get it on. Oh yeah, I am starting to head downhill. Uh, so I'm now leaving the MST, and I've got just—it's only one mile to uh, uh, to the Linville River Trail.
I have never been so happy to take off a pack and see a river in my life. Oh my god. I totally underestimated that part of the trail. Whew. Let's go down here and cool off. Oh, actually, let's grab a cliff bar. Holy heck. Sorry, the video is shaky. I'm all stumbling around. I was really bonking out bad. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, man. That is so beautiful. short off is just directly this way I'm, I can just barely see the top of it I think it is time to do some swimming Oh, that water looks so good. I think they were F-16s, just came ripping down through the gorge. I mean, they were they were much lower than short off. It, oh my God, it scared the holy heck out of me. That was so freaking loud, echoing through this gorge. Man, they were hauling. They were just like knife edged up on the sides, going, going through this canyon. Oh my God, that was badass. That was a real eye opener, but uh, I am essentially at an, at an area called Lead Mine, and I'm about 1.3 miles from what's called Daffodil Flats, 
and uh, it's starting to cloud up a little bit. I'm starting to wonder if it's going to rain. So I'm trying to make the decision where whether just to set up camp here, kind of rest and recoup a little bit, maybe fish, or go on up a little ways because uh, I definitely need to beat feet the next two days for sure. So uh, I don't know. I guess I'll check back with you. I think they're coming back through. Let's see if I can get a shot of them. Uh, sounds like they're up over the ridge now. Uh, sounded like they turned out. Well, no. Maybe they are coming down this way. Can you hear that? It's a long ways off, but... It sounds like they're circling back around short off. There's a lot of gnats down here. They're about to carry me off. I really wasn't expecting that. Uh, sounds like those jets are turning out. Dang. I was hoping I was going to show you something really cool there. <laughs> well, I am at my campsite for the night. Um, I am about parallel with uh, just a little bit past like the North Carolina wall. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see that or not. But, uh, the stream is just absolutely beautiful here. And looks like a really good place to camp. I think it's just kind of an unnamed, unnamed spot or whatever, but um, it's flat, it's dry. It's got trees for me to hang a hammock and I'm too tired to go any farther. So this is all me. I'm going to sleep like a baby. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, time to set up camp and see if I can't wet a hook really fast and maybe catch something for dinner, I don't know. All right, check you later.
seriously rough night last night. <clears throat> Just could not get comfortable in the hammock. and It's a beautiful day today. I'm going to try to make some tracks. I'm going to try to make it up towards uh, Connolly Cove today. Tons of little butterflies out here today. So it's a pretty rough, rough night last night. Um, just couldn't get comfortable in the hammock. Um, yeah, I made the mistake of uh, trying out a new hammock in Limbo Gorge, which was a, a bad idea. And it, it literally took hours to uh, to get comfortable. But you know, finally, I, I think I just uh, passed out just from sheer exhaustion. Um, and uh, I kind of slept in late this morning to, to kind of recoup a little bit. And I think, I think that, that helped. But um, I'm definitely feeling it. Uh, my legs are feeling it and back's feeling it. But uh, I'm going to make tracks today, try to make as much time up the river as possible. Um, because this section of the river, I have not seen a single trout. I have not seen any trout. I caught a couple of smallmouth and a couple of small chubs, and uh, that was about it. Um, I don't know if the water's just not cold enough down here or, or what. So I've got to, uh, I got to go upstream, find some colder, colder water. But one thing I want to point out is all this trash that people are leaving down here. It's just trash everywhere, especially in the, in the fire pits and the camp pits. I mean, some of this stuff, I don't even know what it is, but it's obviously just junk. But, uh, Campers, hike out your trash. Hike out your trash. What the heck is that? It almost looks like a little stonefly, but it's not. I don't think it's a stonefly. Some big old eye spots on him there. Some kind of fake eye spots to ward off predators, I guess. All kinds of little creepy crawlies down here. The ants are pretty bad. The ticks are surprisingly bad. Um, I'm gonna have to do a thorough tick check every couple of hours just to to make sure I'm not getting getting bit. Get back on the trail. Whew. That's some rugged country. The uh, spiders down here are unbelievable. They seem to be able to build an entirely new industrial strength web and just 
couple of hours. It was a one. I saw one person, and they they passed through a couple of hours ago, and the trail was just already just slam full of spider webs. But uh, man, it's so humid down here. But, uh, I love looking up at these at these cliffs. I've done a lot of climbing on this cliff. So some really good stone. That is one badass ant. <laughs> He's got one of my uh, sunflower seeds. <laughs> Man, that's some pretty amazing strength right there. He's probably carrying five or six times his body weight. <laughs> Take a little rest, jump in that water. I am beat. Starting to get hot spots on my feet, so I gotta take care of that. personal little hot tub or in this situation cold tub oh this is gonna feel so good
it's a, you don't get very many chances to uh, spend time in a, in a place like this. It's this remote and this wild and this pristine. It's, it's really something else. This actually might be one of the holes where whenever they have forest fires, they actually will come down in a helicopter and dip this bucket thing down into this hole large enough for them to, to get down through here and deep enough for them to get, get enough water. Uh, I, I saw them do that whenever the, uh, the gorge was burning up last time. It's pretty amazing to watch. But uh, I think I'm about maybe three quarters of the way to Connolly Cove right now. Um, my goal is Connolly Cove, but the sun's getting ready to drop behind the ridge, so I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna make it, but there's plenty of plenty of campsites on the way up, so uh, I'll just do what I can. I'm uh, trying to dry out a little bit right now, so my uh, I got a couple of hot spots on my, uh, on my big toes, and I've actually got a uh, toenail that I might actually lose here. You see it's starting to turn dark. And that's usually that's usually a, a sure sign of hiker toe that you're gonna, gonna lose that nail. But I'm kind of surprised because I've got really really comfortable shoes. I, I think I actually stubbed it stubbed it earlier. I don't think it's actually from the shoes at all. So but uh, hopefully Hopefully it'll last until I can get out of here because that would be really painful to have to bandage that thing up and wrap it with some duct tape or something. But, uh, all right, so I'm going to get dried out and head, by, head back up the trail. There's a lot of really steep sections on this, on this trail. Uh, here's another... Another caveman camp out. Notice all the all the burned ash everywhere. I just I don't understand it. I don't know why people do that. It just looks like crap. You know, they think that they're getting really good shelter underneath this and Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get shelter, but you're also gonna get rats. And you're also gonna get smoked out. So and it's gonna leave a a huge mess so much better just to, to set up in a in a regular campsite you know don't mess it up for everybody else
for about the past 30 minutes I've been trying to show you some of the waterfalls that are down here there's some monstrous falls you can probably hear it I don't know if you can these are just some of the small falls but you can I mean this sounds like a jet engine down there but, uh, and these are these are some small ones there's much much bigger ones down below me and then of course on up above you know you've got ones like Limbo Falls and stuff but I mean pretty much the river is just like uh, just you know major rapids um, through this upper section but uh, anywho onwards and upwards taking another little break here Hey, bro. Come on through. How you doing today? I am exhausted. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can relate to that. <sighs> What's your Came name? Down that side. Oh, really? Forgot that the bridge was out. Oh, man. <laughs> so that's been fun. Where where did you start in at? Oh, man, I can't even remember. It was on that side of uh, Hawksville. Oh, wow. And then I thought I got onto a trail. Well, I was on a un, you know, unlegit trail. Right got on it and then lost it so I bushwhacked like all the way across finally caught the trail that comes down got down there bridge was out oh man so yeah it's been wow. good time so, so there's another trail up here I guess it, that goes back up yes yeah, yeah. yeah yep so I'm looking for that well I'm not looking for it but oh, I'm camping out on this side tonight and okay. kind of cross back over in the morning somewhere and head back out so yeah I'm, I'm kind of debating whether or not to, to go out tonight too oh yeah I came in Wolf Pit, crossed the river, jumped on the MST, and then I've been on the, the Limbo River Trail the whole time. Nice. But, uh, I can, I'm starting to feel some hot spots. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I, I was uh, I was checking checking a foot earlier, and I noticed I've got a nail that's turned black. Oh, really? And that's a that's always a bad sign. Yeah. I think uh, I don't know if it's from these shoes. These shoes are like super comfortable, but. I've got like some little water shoes that whenever I'm fishing, I'll, I'll get in the river and use those. Yeah. I think I must have stubbed my toe on that, but I, I really don't want to be hiking out here without a, without a toe now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's miserable. I've got one, it's kind of the same thing, just out of nowhere, like I stubbed it, but not too bad, but now the nail goes across and then straight down. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I've trimmed that thing all the way back yeah. to where there was no nail, and mm -hmm. it still grows back out like that. <laughs> yeah. It's miserable. Yeah, just gonna keep it on. Do you need anything or are you good? I'm good. I'm good. Alright. Alright. <laughs> go try to get some water too. I gotta get go back up. There you go. Hey, right. you, you didn't happen to find a, uh, a white bandana on the trail back there, did you? No, I didn't see one. Okay. I just got on that, like right down here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you came in right about the Conley Cove area? That sounds right. Really? Yeah. yeah. You, you did must have a pretty adventurous river crossing there. Um, I, four and a half hours deep <laughs> just because I got off that trail and then I knew that that one you know came straight down I was like if I just head towards yeah. Table Rock I'll eventually catch it because yeah. it, it was showing that I was down below it so I was like I don't want to walk back up the stupid hill so I just held contour and yeah, yeah. just kept going until I caught it and then it's easy to do over there that side especially you, you see a lot of game trails and stuff going yeah. down yeah I've, I've been suckered down through that way before too and uh yeah, it can get bad. It can get rough over there. Well, I, the trail, I guess, followed right underneath the Hawksville, and, like, mm -hmm. tucked right underneath of it. Yeah. And somewhere I got, like, on a game trail yeah. and kind of got separated. And then I looked, and I was like, well, it's showing that I'm up there, but, I, you know, I should catch it. Mm -hmm. And then it looked, I just got further and further, and it looked like it was over the crest and on the back side, and I was like, I'm not doing that. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I just <laughs> kept going. It wasn't too bad. There were just a couple bad spots that was, like, you right. gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, you just get there and there's no nothing. Yeah. So yeah. you just go like this and just. <laughs> I know. I wish I, I've had to do that same thing. I've, I've been in situations where the rotos are so thick, I'd have to take off my pack and I'd be like dragging the pack yeah. underneath the rotos. It's, it's, it sucks. Yeah, it's, so. it's, uh, that's a good day. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my plan is to find a camp somewhere nearby here in the next 20 minutes and then um, jump back in the river. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably doing the same exact, exact same thing. Right. Well, good uh, luck, bud. I appreciate it. Good, yeah, I'm good. I hope your foot gets better. Thank you. <laughs> so, hopefully.
awfully peaceful out here. Really, all you hear is just the river and your poles clacking the rocks. And that's about it. Birds chirping. Hopefully, once I crest over this ridge, there'll be a little bit of a breeze. But I decided not to go out Conley Cove and pressed on. So now I'm about halfway between Conley Cove and Babel Tower Trail. Roto tunnels for miles and miles. And I'm sure you don't want to watch all that, so catch you later. And yes, those rocks are that slick. I'm really glad I brought my hiking poles. Coming down, it would have been, it would have been burly. My knees would have been completely blasted. The uh, North Carolina wall, or that might be the amphitheater. <sighs> All right, so I think I have found my campsite for the night. Uh, not too far off the river here. Uh, you can kind of see it somewhat, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
goodbye Linville Gorge. It's been real. It's probably about 10 o'clock in the morning. Another pretty rough night last night. I really didn't sleep any. And heading out the Babel Tower Trail. And I'm really looking forward to getting back to the car. Grabbing a Dr. Pepper and going and finding me a burger somewhere. Whew. I'm whipped. That's a hard hike from Wolf Pit. We'll see you at the top. Oh, I made it. <laughs> oh, God. That trail is no joke. Actually, Babel Trail coming out. It's really well thought out. It's uh, got really good switchbacks. You're not doing anything too, you know, too super steep. Uh, not as many high steps, not as many logs to cross over and stuff, but no matter what, you know, after three days, you're gonna be hurting on about any trail coming out of this thing. But, oh man, I had a, had a good time down there. It was a lot, uh, it's a lot tougher than I was expecting, but a good challenge I was looking for a good challenge and it's just I mean it's some of the prettiest country that you'll ever see you know it's just some of the most pristine area but, uh, I'm gonna go find me the biggest freaking burger I can find load back up on some protein get into some dry clothes here Whew, man it's gonna be it's gonna be nice to sit down in that car but uh, I will catch you later